This is the phase change graph. This is just a classic, classic graph. We can actually divide this into regions. Okay, there's that region and this region here and this region here. Look how straight a line I can draw. I'm very good at that. Okay, um, in this region, there's just solid. Okay, here there's solid plus liquid, in this case, water and ice. Okay, uh, there is here, there's just liquid. Here there's liquid plus gas, right? And then here there's just gas. Now, if you look at this, the other thing we can talk about is we can talk about the melting point of something, right? The melting point is actually a temperature here. Okay, so if you look across there, the melting point of water is zero and the, the boiling point, if we go across, right, is 100. This must be Celsius, right? Okay, so we can talk about the melting point. We, we don't talk about uh, the heat added. We actually talk about the temperature for that. Um, we can also talk about uh, what kind of energy we're adding here, okay? Anytime the temperature is changing, remember that temperature is proportional to, that's what that little alpha means, kinetic energy, the average kinetic energy. So whenever the temperature changes, the kinetic energy is changing. So here we're actually gaining kinetic energy, right? Well, here obviously the temperature is not changing. We have to be gaining some kind of energy because we're adding heat, right, to this thing, right? So here we're actually gaining potential energy. Remember that this is, uh, we're actually changing it from, from solid to a liquid, right? I don't know what's going on upstairs. Okay. And then here it's, um, this is again, we're changing the temperature. So we're changing the kinetic energy, right? Again, here we're changing the potential energy. We're changing it from a, a liquid to a gas. And it's, this line should be even longer. It should be about seven times as long as that, right? So they, they kind of copped out. That's a graphical ellipse. Okay. And then here, this is, uh, again, we're changing kinetic energy. Okay. Now, Whenever we're changing kinetic energy, the formula here is MCAT, right? MC delta T. This formula is for kinetic energy. The delta T here is, is we're changing the temperature. We're changing the kinetic energy of this thing, right? Uh, for kinetic for pinetic energy, for potential energy, right? The formula is ML, right? That's our, our Q equals ML. This is our, our potential energy formula. This, this thing here really is how much potential energy you have to put in to make... A, a kilogram of, of mass um, undergo a phase change, right? Again, here, this guy's going to be ML. Here is going to be MCAT, right? And then here, this is also MCAT. Can I write that small? Yes, I can. Okay, so um, what else to say about this? I think I've said it all. I'm sure I'll think of something. Yeah, there you go.